Flyers known for their red wagons. They're now entering the e-bike market, but are they any good? Let's put it together and find out. The bike comes well packed and pretty secure. All the accessories are in the box. It just requires removing the foam and attaching the handlebars. You'll need to put on the front wheel and it's ready to ride. Flyer currently has three different bikes, a cargo style, a normal bike, and a foldable bike. I'm testing out the Flyer M880. The bike has a really nice finish and a solid feel to it. I just love this red color. It reminds me of the Radio Flyer wagon. So this bike has up to a 50 mile range and offers five different pedal assist levels, as well as a throttle if you don't feel like pedaling at all. All of this is controlled by the LCD display on the handlebars. The power comes from a 500 watt brushless motor in the rear wheel. This is powered from a 687 watt hour Samsung battery. The battery takes about 10 hours to charge when it's completely dead. The battery level can be checked on the display or by removing the battery and pressing the button on the bottom. All of this power is kept under control by a set of Tektro mechanical brakes. The cable management on this bike is awesome. You can see how clean it is here. The bike has 180 millimeter rotors, which helps slow down the heavy bike. If you choose to use the pedal assist, you have seven gears to help make it easier or harder while you're pedaling. It takes some getting used to if you're using pedal assist to know what level to be in and what gear to be in to make it most efficient. Overall, the bike shifts very smoothly and haven't had any problems with it skipping gears. If you don't feel like pedaling, you can use the throttle, much like a motorcycle throttle. By twisting it, the bike will accelerate without pedaling. It will reach a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Sometimes it's fun to cruise around with pedals, and when you get lazy or see a big hill coming up, you can use the throttle to accelerate up it. I find myself using the throttle as well as the shifter and pedal assist on pretty much every ride I go on. The seat is a comfortable, oversized saddle. It's supportive enough for pedaling, but comfortable enough for cruising. The seat can be easily raised or lowered with the quick release around the seat tube. They come with a quality set of pedals with built-in reflectors. One of my favorite parts of the bike is this tripod style kickstand. Because it lifts the front tire off the ground, there's a spring here to keep the tire from turning to the side. There's also super high quality front and rear fenders. I've enjoyed the fenders when riding in the rain, but when using some bike racks that hold the tires in place, they do get in the way. The bike includes a headlight and a tail light. These can be controlled by the LCD panel turned on or off. The light's just bright enough to see at night and to make sure cars see you. On the rear of the bike, there is a brake light that illuminates when the brake lever is pulled if the front light is not turned on. You can adjust the height of the headset by using an Allen wrench or adjusting the stacks underneath. This makes it easier for smaller riders to reach or can give you a more upright position when riding the bike. The grips are actually really nice. They're firm and sticky and slightly ergonomic. There's a number of different accessories for the bikes, but these are must-haves. The front and rear storage baskets make carrying around bike locks, pumps, groceries, and other items super easy. There's also other accessories for carrying phones, water bottles, and even kids with you. I've had a ton of fun riding this bike. It doesn't have the torque that some other electric bikes have, which makes it a nice bike for beginners. I've been riding the bike a few times a week and surprised how little I have to charge it. The nice thing is if you do run out of battery, you can always pedal yourself home. You wouldn't be stranded. While there isn't any suspension on this bike, the big seat and cushy three inch tires make it a softer ride and more comfortable. The bike is offered in three different sizes. The small is designed for riders up to five foot eight, the medium is designed for riders up to six foot three, and the large is designed for riders up to six foot six. The bike also comes in different colors, red, white, blue, and black. Another nice thing about flyer bikes is they ship within two business days. I got mine in just under a week. Unfortunately, this bike doesn't have a mobile app to make fine-tune adjustments to the power output or check speed, mileage. 
We have a super in-depth review of this bike over on our website. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like reviews on outdoor gear, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're shopping for outdoor gear, check out our website, gearchase.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be sure to get back to them. Until next time, happy riding.